Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how to use the different features of WebEx and implement them for your own use. A lot of learning is happening virtually this year and this may help make the experience better for both teachers and students. Okay, so when you first open up a WebEx meeting, it should look like this. And basically you'll have the participants and then there's like a chat box here and it just should look like this. So if you have like a wireless headset or something that you want to use, you can change the audio inputs. Right now, I do not have something connected, but if I had my earbuds connected, then I could choose different audio inputs. So like if you have a wireless microphone, then you can change the microphone setting and have the input go through your headset. That way, the audio is not all mumbled. So let's say that you want to share your screen and you want to share it to the whiteboard or the projector, which is your second screen. So what you can do is you're going to go to share content. As you can see, I can share my screen one, which is this laptop's tab, or I can share to screen two, which is the second monitor type thing. So we're going to hit share content and go there. So now I'm sharing content to the screen. As you can see up here, it says I'm sharing the screen. So let's say I wanted to have uh, the Haggerty homepage show up on to the screen. I wanted to share this with my students. So I would just, here it is. And basically, when I'm sharing, let's say I'm trying to share content and talk to the students or other people in the meeting about this, if they have questions, like if they type a question in the chat, it will have a notification pop up here. But if you want to see what people in the chat are saying, you can actually open up the chat and the entire chat box will appear. You can make this longer, bigger, anything. And while you're presenting to the class, if your Connect students or participants have questions, they can type it here and you can easily see it without switching back to the WebEx page. Okay. So let's say that you're done sharing content and now you want to go back and, but you still want to be able to see what your students are saying in the chat box on your second screen, but you don't want to share your screen the entire time on the second monitor. So here's something that you can do. And first we're going to start off with stopping screen sharing and then we'll figure that out. So. You want to be able to see the chat box on your second screen here, but you don't want the actual meeting window to be pulled over here because then you'd be able to see everything and that's not really necessary. Or you can do a thing where you just drag over the chat box, which is what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so now we're back to the first screen and Let's say you want to have this chat box show up on your second screen or the projector, but you don't want the entire meeting window to be moved as well. So what you can do is there's these different menu options up in the right hand corner of the window of the meeting box. And there's this thing called the floating panel view. And basically what this will do is that it will full screen whoever's in the call so you can grid view it, um, but it'll make the chats and the participants that are in the call show up as well and like a different floating panel type thing. So if you want to do this, you can have the chat box open and still teach or still talk to the people regularly face to face and move this chat box over to the other side. So as you can see, the chat box is now moved onto the second monitor and you can see the chat without um, interfering with your own work. And 
if you're talking to face-to-face -face students or something or other people that are actually in the room, it will be on the whiteboard. So if people on Connect have a question, you will be able to see it on the chat box and it will be displayed on the board. So even when your back is turned, a teacher's back is turned towards away from the whiteboard, they'll still be able to see it and the students in class will be able to see it so that they can tell the teacher what's going on in the chat box if someone has a question instead of teachers not being able to focus on one or the other of the students that they have. So this will help bridge the gap between that. So let's just say that you didn't wanna have the chat box open on the second screen and you wanted to do your own work and just have it remain open on your individual screen. There's a way that you can do that as well. And we're going to head back over to the first screen. So as you can see, we're still in floating panel view. And if you want to do your own work while still being able to see the chat and hear the chat, then while still remaining in floating panel, you can switch to the tab that you're working on. So let's say I'm on the Haggerty page again. You can still see that things that are appearing in the chat can come to your attention without having to switch back over to the WebEx meeting. Um, that way it's convenient and you can respond and it will be convenient for everyone. Okay, so let's say that you're back in the meeting window, but you don't want to actively look at the chat and have it as like a floating panel on your screen while you do other work and browse. So if you can't hear the other participants, what you can do is that you can change your preferences and have an audio play so that if you're not actively seeing something, you can have an audio notification. So what you're gonna do is go to edit and then go to preferences. And basically when there's a chat feature and it says when receiving a message. So I have it set to always if I'm not looking at a screen at the WebEx meeting call, I will always get a sound if something is happening in the chat box that I need to be made aware of. And you can change the sound to whatever you want. And this will help alert you when things are happening, even if you're not actively looking at your screen or at the chat box or something, so that you're still notified of things that are happening. All right. So that's all I really have for this video. Um, I hope this helped you when trying to figure out how to use the different settings on WebEx. There are more settings coming, I believe, like breakout rooms are supposed to be rolling out at the end of September. So that will help um, create more of a collaboration between the Seminole Connect and face-to-face -face people. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.